Hey everybody, Haku here with my review for Monster Musume no Iru Nichijo or uh, Everyday Life with Monster Girls, Chapter 62. So uh, I will warn you ahead of time that I'm not going to be all happy peaches, totally positive about this one, but I am going to try to balance the things I liked and didn't like about it. Uh, in general, certainly below average. It's one of those things where if I were just watching on my own, yeah, just, or if I was just reading on my own, just read it, move on with my life, it's whatever. Um, but since this is a review, I'm going to be discussing it, giving more critical thoughts. Um, really, I thought the art was still good, uh, and there were some funny bits, but there are a lot of things that just aren't that great. A lot of things super duper repetitive, and a lot of things that make you think, well, that's okay, but why should I care about it? What is there to make me care about what's going on? So uh, I'll kind of go through it from start to finish my thoughts here so that I don't forget anything, but I'm sure I'll forget something I wanted to say regardless. Uh, but yeah, first things first, we know the order of which they're uh, going to be um, sort of challenging each other. And the challenge actually isn't going to be, I thought that maybe they were going to be in a, an arena and have these different tests of husbandry or something but uh yeah instead it's just going to be repetitive we're going to repeat the same thing we've already seen multiple times which is just snex pile we're going to repeat that same thing we've seen multiple times in the past few chapters and just repeat it more times um, and first it's going to be against the Echidna, then the Melisande, then the Medusa. We learned that the Medusa don't usually participate, so we know that something special is going to happen this time, because that's the way that the stories work. Um, we get a generic Mia romance scene that just totally feels off. It doesn't feel like Mon Musu. It feels very weird, this scene. It made Mia seem just like... A typical, like the most stereotypical in love female character you could do, which is weird. It feels like Okiata is just like, like this chapter just feels like he just threw stuff against the wall and was like, whatever. It really doesn't feel like much care was put into this. And that's a shame because you know I love Okiato, I love Mon Moose, or I wouldn't do so many videos on it. Even before I started the channel, I was a huge fan. Uh, and I love 12 Beast now too. But yeah, this just felt like, eh, just throw a chapter out. Like, nothing felt important. Uh, the art was really good, so of course time had to be spent on that, but just nothing felt important at all. And I kind of uh, brought it up slightly in the live reaction, but it might be a situation where the thing is, something like this is strong as a slice of life where you can just get into antics by mixing the weirdness of Monster Girls into the normalcy of everyday life, hence the title, and that's kind of a good way to set up a story. Just bring up a normal everyday situation and then throw a Monster Girl into it and see what kind of weirdness happens, but instead sometimes Mon Musu gets into these arcs that are a good few chapters long, and things do get repetitive, where it's like chapters don't come out all that often, maybe once a month at the most frequent. And if that's the case, give us something different. Give us a slice of life story with a different type of monster girl each and every time. Because when it comes to this, it's like these chapters have been spread out months apart. Uh, I think this one, the one before this, was months before this, and it's been like four months since this one came out. And for the past three or so chapters, it's been the same thing happening again and again. Um, so yeah, it's just, again, been Snacks Pile. And I'll get into a, a point later about why that doesn't really work. But, uh, yeah, let me see. Anything else? So the first male shows up and is jacked. Uh, the second one that shows up later, I'll go ahead and uh, bring it up. The Melisine just have a generic pretty boy. Mia beats them up. The Mia stuff was funny. I like the Mia stuff. Um, so, yeah, getting into the Echidnas first, they look cool. And that brings me into the point of why care about any of this? The designs are really good. The artwork is really good. That is the most positive thing about this. Um, is the designs and artwork are great, but why should we care? Like I, I brought up... Mon Musu is a story. Like, if I want to, I can go look at any sort of Lamia porn and die all over the internet. I could easily do that. 
so the difference between that and Monmuzu is like Monmuzu is an actual story with characters and development. So give us an actual story with characters and development because I can just look at, and that's one of the things where we get super, super sexual and it's like I could see hentai anywhere. So seeing things that are super sexual but can't actually show anything here is like, it makes it pointless. The whole point of reading this is to get a story because if it's just to look at the cute monster girls, you can do that anywhere. So, uh, yeah, it just brings up the point of the echidnas look awesome, but why care? And they're super weak to men. That's another thing I brought up where it's like, I can't get attached to any of this because even if I think, oh, that echidna's design's really cool, we're never going to see them again. If we do, it's just going to be a background thing. So it's like, there's no reason to care about anything that's happening. And another reason I knew, like, there's no reason, and it took me so long to get to this chapter, is because it's like, we just had a chapter with Snacks Pile. I didn't know that this was going to be Snacks Pile, but I was like, they're probably not going to wrap up this story in one chapter. So it's like, we get Snacks Pile this chapter, and all we have to look forward to whenever the next one finally does come out is just the same exact thing again. It's just going to be Snacks Pile again. So it just, we end up with what's the point right now. And I think that's both the problem with having a long arc here, and it's the problem with having a bunch of characters that aren't ever going to get developed. Uh, we should just introduce one character every chapter or so, and develop them throughout the course of the series. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of what makes what what's going on really weak here. <coughs> Sorry. But, uh, yeah, the Melisans then again, they're too lewd to the point where it's like, what's the point? I could look at actual hentai. Why do I want to look at sort of half a hentai, you know? And that's what a lot of people, I was like, I need to look up what other people are, think, are saying about the chapter. And a lot of people are saying the similar thing is there's a balance with Echi where you go too far and it's like, okay, well, what's the point now? Now it's too lewd and it's basically hentai I could get in anywhere. So, uh, yeah, and it becomes kind of awkward when, like, they're trying to be super, super sexual, but they can't actually show any sex. Um, it just becomes really awkward feeling. So, yeah, I don't know. It's just not what you come to the actual comedy manga that was really good for a while for. But just the past two arcs, I think the far mark is okay. Well... The arc before the farm arc with Giant Sue and everything, the Giant Sue stuff was great, uh, but the uh, sort of president of that company and his company stuff was kind of unnecessary and had potential, but it was not lived up to. And this same thing can be said about this, where seeing Mia's homeland and her people and their culture has so, so much potential, but the way it's been handled in practice just isn't good. Um, so yeah, at the end it looks like we're getting Draco though, so that'll be funny, and Lala at the end was great. So uh, yeah, as a whole, I tried to be as positive as possible, but it's just repetitive. We've seen the same thing multiple chapters in a row, and it makes you feel like, why care? Why care about how good the designs are and the designs and art are so good? Why care if Okiato is not going to develop any of these characters later? Um, so yeah, and like, why care about it being this lewd when you could, if you wanted lewdness, you could go looking for that. There has to be some sort of story, and right now, like, you can loosely call what's going on a story, but it's not. It's basically just a repetition of the same thing again and again and again. And the thing it's repeating again and again and again is just, hey, look at the boobs. And again, you can do that anywhere. So yeah, the Mia stuff was funny. It just... I'm going to be pretty nice and give it a uh, three gaps out of ten, the gap between the way the echidnas look and act. But yeah, I don't know. There were good things that I liked. I liked the echidnas, I liked the designs, I liked the artwork. But then if I sit down and think about it for even a half second, I'm like, oh yeah, but none of it matters. So even the good stuff doesn't matter. So yeah. I don't know, I hate being negative about anything because I'm like, why make a video on something to be negative about it? But uh, yeah, if I have to, if I'm making a review of this and I'm looking at it 
critically even at all. It just isn't very good. So, uh, yeah, sadly, 3 out of 10. I hope you still found a reason to enjoy the video, uh, even though I hate being negative about anything. So I'm like, why? I know, like, videos being negative about stuff and shitting on stuff are super popular, but I don't get the point of them. But yeah, either way, I guess, like, if you did like the video, comment down there. Tell me what you thought of this chapter, what you thought of my thoughts on it. Subscribe for more. Mon Musu, much more on the channel. Follow on Twitter if you want. They can try to keep you up to there and stuff for the channel. And if you want to link to our Discord server to talk to me or more of us there, then just ask and I can give you a link. That's it. Thank you once again for watching, and I'll see you all next time.